Hi. In my recent blog posts, we've been exploring the spine, particularly how uh, re releasing movement through the front of the spine can help restore movement through the whole body. The top of the spine is the head. In fact, you could think of this as the topmost vertebra of your spine. When there's tension in the face and head, that can affect the movement at the joint between the top of the neck and the base of the skull. When that happens, that affects the movement of the whole spine. It's like putting a lid on the rising motion through the midline. In this video, I'd like to share an exploration that will help restore movement to this critical joint of your spine. First, let's take a look at the joint. Here you have C2 and C1. You're looking at the front surface, the part that would be facing your throat. If we turn it around, you can see this uh, rather extreme projection here. You can feel that below your hairline, just in the center of the top of your neck. Now, look at the top of C1 and notice these divots little obliquely shaped indentations at the top of that vertebrae. Now we'll look at the head, turn it around, and you can see these two rounded projections on either side of the hole where your spinal cord comes through. So we can put those two projections, they fit them right over the indentations in C1. And now your head can nod forward and back, can go side to side, can rotate a little bit. It's an expressive joint. But when we spend hours at a computer screen, stabilizing the head, holding it still, then that does a lot to put stiffness in that very important joint. The exploration we're going to do is a way of restoring mobility to that place. I made this little visual aid to demonstrate the movements, the directions of the movements we're going to do. So if I use my nose as a kind of crayon to draw a circle in the air, I could draw it in this plane, same as the red ring. It's called the frontal plane. Or I could turn the ring horizontally and inscribe my circle on the horizontal plane. Or I could tip it this way, forward and back. It's called the sagittal plane. And I can inscribe a circle in the air with my nose in that plane. However, these movements are much too big to really target the atlanto-occipital joint. So we're going to use a much smaller stylus than the nose. We're going to use the uvula as our drawing instrument. The uvula is a muscular flap at the back of the roof of your mouth. It takes part in speech and in swallowing and it's located right in front of the atlanto-occipital joint. So it's a perfect place to focus the movement meditation. For your best success with this, I advise you to review my DVD about sitting, having really good support for your sitting posture, about breathing, about relaxing your jaw, the roof of your mouth, and your eyes. Start by making tiny circles with your uvula, like this. You may discover that it's easier to circle in one direction than the other that your circle is less round on one side or feels like it moves less smoothly. When you practice, slow down 
relax more deeply and see if you can smooth out the rough spots. If you relax deeply, you may be able to sense this movement traveling down along your spine. You might even feel it along your sacrum. It's probably a little bit like watching grass grow. It's much more interesting to do than to watch. You could also draw figure eights with your uvula. So it could be like this, or this way, here, here, this way, or on oblique angles. So you can be creative. Your figure eights may only be a few centimeters wide. Movement this tiny requires deep concentration and a lot of patience. It's really a meditation. It's not just an exercise. You're reminding the Atlantic lano-occipital joint that it is an expressive joint. This is like a slow motion belly dance for your head. In order for this tiny movement to be reflected throughout your spine, you need to be sitting with good support when you practice and breathing freely. After you've practiced, stand up and walk around a little. You may be able to feel greater mobility throughout your whole body. I hope you do.